right. Uh, meanwhile, let's bring in uh, Jeb Bush. He would like to be the next president of the United States. He joins us from Columbia, South Carolina. Governor, good morning to you. Good morning. Well, you, uh, in the last week, you had your brother out on the stump. You, uh, I think your mother is going to be joining you in South Carolina later today. The polls open exactly 24 hours from right now. What is your pitch to the people of South Carolina to say, Jeb Bush is my choice to be president? My pitch is that I could be president from day one, that I would be a commander in chief that would have a steady hand, that would have a strategy to destroy ISIS, to rebuild our military, to keep us safe, and to focus on economic security being the big issue other than national security so people could have rising income again. I'm the candidate that's laid out detailed plans right. to fix how we tax and regulate to create higher growth and higher income for people. You know, there's a whole bunch of polls coming out fast and furious, and uh, you've definitely picked up some speed. However, this is the way it looks right now. Donald Trump with 32, Cruz with 19, Rubio with 15. This is the uh, this Fox. is our poll, and followed by uh, Carson and you are, are tied at nine, and then Kasich with six. And I was listening to Marco Rubio last week, and he says, I'm not worried about these polls. I goes, I just need to stay in contention because they're not winner take all. Do you feel the same way? Look, I, I th we're doing far better than that poll, I believe, based on other polls. But I'm focused on making my case that this is, we're living in dangerous times. We need a serious person to be president, not someone who's uh, all over the map. Steadiness and having a serious conservative philosophy is the one that I think will win this election. South Carolinians are conservative and they, they believe in supporting the, the troops. They believe in making sure veterans get care. That's what I'm focused on. I think the polls will take care of themselves. All right, Governor, and as for the Democrats, we've been watching Hillary Clinton. Uh, she's starting to slip nationally now. Uh, and yet in this yeah. most recent interview, uh, we just aired a clip, she's refusing to directly say if she's ever lied to the American people. Let's actually listen and get your response. Yeah. I have tried in every way I know how, literally from my years as a young lawyer all the way through my time as Secretary of State, to level with the American people. You talk about leveling with the American people. Have you always told the truth? I've always tried to. Always. Always. Some people are going to call that wiggle room that you just gave yourself. Well, no, always, I always, always tried to. No, I mean, always Jimmy tried Carter to. said, I never lie to you. You know, you're asking me to say, have I ever? I don't believe I ever have. I, I don't believe I ever have. I don't believe I ever will. I'm going to do the best I can to level with the American people. Governor, as she was speaking, we could see you shaking your head. <laughs> well, she hasn't told the truth uh, throughout her adult life. Uh, and she hasn't told her truth recently as it relates to her server, for example. Um, we found out about it when it was subpoenaed by the FBI. She hasn't told the truth about emails, classified information going over a private server. She's not been truthful, and that's the reason why she's slipping in the polls, that people want genuineness, they want authenticity, they want someone who will tell them the truth, that has integrity. We've had Washington, D.C. is completely dysfunctional. You're not going to restore integrity in government unless you have a leader that, that mm -hmm. shows integrity each and every day. And speaking of leader, I know that uh, South Carolina is looking to the next leader to be strong in the military. They've got a huge military presence down there. You have claimed yeah. out, on the, uh, out on the trail that you are best, you got the most experience to be commander in chief on the first day. Explain, explain why you feel that way. Well, 40 generals and admirals agree with that, that are actively advising and supporting my campaign. 12 Medal of Honor recipients. Lindsey Graham, the leading expert on national security matters, supported me rather than his two colleagues. I was commander-in-chief of the Florida National Guard for eight years. I dealt with eight hurricanes and four tropical storms in 17 months. I didn't complain. We led. We solved problems. Uh, as governor, you have to make tough decisions all the time. I've traveled overseas 89 times since 2007. I, I know world leaders. I know America's presence in the world. I had a front row seat watching history unfold with two presidents. I know something about this, and I know what it is to be president of the United States, and I think I could lead. Uh, real quick, uh, we know what's happening on Saturday. Justice Scalia will be uh, essentially his funeral. The president decided uh, he will not go there, and now the latest one is it, it's because of the security presence that he would bring, although the vice president's going with a pretty significant security presence. I know yeah. that when, uh, when Chief Justice Rank was passed away, your brother uh, went and gave the eulogy. Is there a problem with the president not going that you see? I don't know what the reasons are that he's not going, but I would err on the side of going to a funeral, to be honest with you. Uh, Anton Scalia was a legal giant. He was a lover of liberty. He should be appreciated, irrespective of what the president's judicial philosophy is. 
And equally important, the president ought to nominate someone like Anton Scalia if he wanted to honor him. That would be, uh, you know, heck, pig, pigs would fly if that happened, but that would be an incredible <laughs> way of showing uh, a tribute to a great man. All right, Governor, real quickly, uh, your projected finish in South Carolina. And what would be sign Better of than success you... for, your, for your campaign? Better than you think. That's, uh, that's always my objective, is to beat ex expectations and continue to so show progress, which is exactly what we're doing. Well, it does sound as if down in South Carolina they are projecting a record turnout tomorrow. They've already issued a record number of absentee ballots, so who knows what's going to ha happen. Uh, Governor, thank you very much for joining us from the Palmetto State. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks, Governor. Take All care. Right.